Don't run after fortune tellers or some prophet guy who comes down the way and says, I can read your mind. I can tell you all your life story and I can tell you exactly what's going to happen to you in the near future. You have the Holy Spirit inside of you. You have the Holy Spirit inside of you and they never tell you that because they want you to be so dependent on them. They want to be the big guy, but the big guy is already inside of you, the Holy Spirit. He has come to abide in you. Walk in the Spirit. It does not mean that you walk two inches above in the air. Walk in the Spirit means your lifestyle should be a spiritual lifestyle. You do what the Spirit says. You obey the Holy Spirit. You yield yourself to the Holy Spirit. You are able to hear the little nudgings that he gives. You can hear him. A prophet can confirm what the Holy Spirit has spoken to you. And it's so dangerous when it comes to a directional prophecy, when it's given over you, there should be somebody else who should have the freedom to judge that prophecy. The Bible says somebody can judge. If there's a directional prophecy that is given, it can be judged. It must be judged. The Spirit says so. But some people, they just give in to some prophets and they just give them some strong decisions to be made and eventually they are gone, way off the track. God never spoke. It was an evil spirit that spoke or it's a puffed up mind that spoke. And people are gone all out against the will of God. That's the reason you've got to be firm in the word. When a prophecy is given, it should be a confirmation of all what God has spoken to you. And even if it is a directional prophecy, somebody else can judge it. 